In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own triangle firecrackers at home. It's a pretty simple process and a lot of fun. Stay tuned. So the materials needed for this project are super simple. You just need some scotch tape, some fuse, and if you don't know how to make that or if you don't have any, I have a video on how to make it on my channel, linked above. And then a sheet of paper 8.5 by 11 inches, in this case it's cardstock. If you want to use scissors to cut it, you can. I'm just going to tear it. Um, and then if you want to use a Sharpie to label what powder is inside, in this case I'm using black powder, but there are other powders that can be used. More on that later. First cut the paper into four strips lengthwise. Again, you can use scissors, but I'm going to demonstrate how you can just tear it. Remember I'm using cardstock here, so if you're using regular printer paper, you will likely need to use two of these strips for each cracker instead of just one. So I'm just creasing the paper where I want it to be torn, and then folding it back on itself in the opposite direction. I licked the seam, and now you can see it just tears apart quite nicely. And then that's repeated once more. Next, take each strip of paper and make the first fold as if you were making a paper football. But stop here. We're going to tape that shut, and that is going to make the reservoir for our powder. So then just tear off a small piece of scotch tape and use it to tape that piece shut. And then trim off the excess just to keep things tidy. Then carefully fill the reservoir with powder. There's no need to fill it so much that it bulges. A moderate amount of powder will do. In this case, I'm using my homemade Eastern Red Cedar black powder. I'll make a video on that soon. It's a rice powder, so it's not optimal for this application. I will be comparing it to Goex, a corned powder. You could also use whistle mix or flash powder, but I'm not going to demonstrate that here. Next, simply insert a piece of fuse, and again, if you don't have access to this, I have a video on my channel. It'll be in the description as well. You can see that the triangle has a long and a short side. I like to have it so that the fuse sticks out the top with the long side on the bottom. Make sure that the fuse is stuck in deep enough that it doesn't pull out, and so that it provides reliable ignition. Then you just wrap it up as if you were making a paper football. The tighter and neater these wraps are, the more effective the firecracker will be, not to mention it'll look better, so take time to do it properly. Once you reach the end with the first piece of paper, if you are using regular printer paper, that is when you would apply the second strip. And then once it's fully wrapped, simply secure it with a little piece of tape. And that's all there is to it. The only thing left to do would be perhaps to give it a label if you're using different powders, and to set it off. As always, make sure these are set off with the utmost safety in mind and not around any people or property that could be damaged. And then I was able to crank out about five of these in just a matter of minutes. You can see that I have three of the Eastern Red Cedars and two of the Goex. We'll see what the performance difference is. The first two are the Goex. And then these are my homemade Eastern Red Cedar. And then, of course, you could always use flash powder. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you found it educational and entertaining. I appreciate you sticking around to the end, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.